This is our test setup. We will test how fast we will fill up this bucket with water. This bucket is roughly 10.7 liters. Well, at least if you fill it up completely. Here it's rated as 9.46 liters. Now we're testing this device. This device, maybe it's multi-directional because there's no arrow of the direction of the, the water. So I will need to test both directions. Or I just read the manual. It's designed to be connected from the top. Had a small filter and I removed it so it will be a better, like a better test now. Yes, the performance much better. And on this device I can see there is a filter inside there. But there is a filter inside and it's like, you cannot just remove it unless you open it probably. It's non-removable filter which is very bad because you would want to clean them once in a while. It's hard to do when you cannot remove them. So these devices look that they are good for, for drip systems and stuff like that that don't need much pressure and not much throughput. But for sprinkler systems they're not so good. That's why I wanted somebody to design a timer thing that can that would be have a valve like this one they're, they're these red knob ones half inch they are just really good it takes uh, roughly half a minute to fill up a or ten and a half liter bucket and it just maybe it takes a double with these random timers that's why I have this non filter something solenoid 12 volt solenoid volt just to try it out Wow, we have a winner. This guy is doing the best job and it's almost the same as like without any device in. To make it fair, we should actually put a red switch here and test, but this is almost as good, so I don't even want to do it. This is really, really cool. Wow, it gets hot really fast. With a timer attached to the current here, then we will make this a timer. This is actually a, a nice DIY project. I might need a charge controller for that small solar panel to charge this uh, gel battery, just a cheap um, motorbike battery, 12 volts. For now, I think it's like for completely testing, like charging through a solar panel like this should be okay. But the, the, the bad thing with this is that if the voltage gets max is 14.1, 14.3, so I wouldn't have it charge more than 14 volts. Right now I can get it to like 13.5, 13.6 volts, but I want to like test charging with this uh, little solar panel. If the voltage gets too high, like going up over 14 volts, I would need some kind of device to minimize the voltage coming from that little panel.